Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd quickly take you through my SLG collection as it stands today. I am down to about eight or nine, I would say, SLGs total, and um, actually maybe 10 if you count something that is a handbag slash SLG. So um, quite a lot different from years past. I have sold quite a few SLGs as I just was not using them. And so I'm gonna show you what remains in my collection. And these are all things that I do use and um, that are really kind of helpful in my day-to-day -day life. So I'm going to start off with my two remaining SLGs from Chanel. I have the card case, I believe it is this one. Um, I have a card holder and a card case and I always mess up which one is which, but I've got this smaller one that um, holds probably about eight or nine cards when I need um, to kind of carry a small bag. Um, this is in the black lambskin with the silver hardware and I absolutely love this little piece. And then I also have the, I believe this is called the card holder. Um, this is the one that is more shaped, I would say, like a wallet, but it actually is just one big compartment in the front and one little small one where I have the authenticity card um, inside. And th this holds probably, I would say, 10 to 15 cards if you really want to shove as many as you can in here. This is something I will take when I'm carrying some of my I would say medium size bags. Um, definitely when I'm carrying my classic flap, my medium size classic flap, I always take one of these with me and um, absolutely love this. And this one is also, by the way, in the black lambskin with the silver hardware. And everything else I'm going to talk about is from Louis Vuitton. I have quite a few SLGs that I have accumulated over the years uh, from Louis Vuitton that um, have proven to be kind of workhorses in my SLG collection. The first one is my passport holder, and this is something that I haven't used in a long time since the beginning of the pandemic. I have not left the country, but I am going on a trip to St. Lucia in May and finally get to use this little guy again. What I love about this is that there are some slots in here so you can use this as a wallet and carry your passport with you which I prefer to do I know there's a safe in hotel rooms and things but I like to have my passport on me I don't know why but I feel safer when I have everything in one place and everything in a bag that is on me so that is typically what I do when I travel I know a lot of people will probably tell me that's dangerous but Whatever the case, that is how I use it, and I find this to be a really great piece um, for travel, one that has held up really, really well over many, many trips over the years, and something that I intend to have a lifetime. Next up, I have my Louis Vuitton agendas, and I have the Agenda PM, which is one that I like to carry with me when I'm either traveling or when I'm carrying a larger bag and for some reason I need to take my calendar with me. Love having this on me. And then I have my GM agenda which stays at my desk. Um, this is something that I have been getting a lot of use out of since um, purchasing it secondhand this year and um, I absolutely love it. Here is just my little setup for anyone who is interested. Um, I got a lot of my inserts from cloth and paper and I absolutely absolutely love them. But yeah, love, love, love this agenda. And I think over the years, um, I've had the MM, I've had the desk agenda, and I think this is the one that suits my lifestyle, at least right now while I'm working from home and I can keep this at home because it is quite heavy. It's not something if I were working in an office that I would want to carry around with me, um, but I absolutely love it for day-to-day -day use. I keep um, bills I need to pay in here. I keep... Um, any kind of documents or things for doctor's appointments and things um, that I need to go to in here. And of course, I track my day-to-day um, -day activities in here and I've set some goals and um, I love the, uh, the planner pages that I've been using that are helping me to kind of track those goals. So this has been um, a really great purchase so far and definitely something that I can continue to see myself using for many, many years. Next up, I have a SLG that I use as a handbag, and this is 
my pochette. I think I included this in my handbag um, update video, but this is something that gets a lot of use as a handbag. I have it with its um, the 12 millimeter adjustable Louis Vuitton strap here that I purchased separately because I like to carry this just crossbody. It's one of those kind of everyday workhorse bags that I take with me all the time. Um, I've also used it just as a pouch inside my larger bags and I've removed the straps to just use it as a little handheld clutch or the shorter strap that it comes with. I've used it just to use as a little pouch bag or a pochette bag. I love it that way. Um, inside, you can see I've just got a whole bunch of stuff since I am using it right now and I'm going to pull out another SLG that I wanted to talk about. This is definitely, I would say of all my SLGs, the most used um, one that I have and this is my clay and this is really old. <laughs> you can see um, the metal is starting to tarnish but um, I've had it for over 10 years now and it comes with me literally every day in all of my handbags and I love it. I typically will carry all of my cards in here or the cards I use day to day um, as well as my license and uh, my medical cards, things like that. And then I've got my keys just hanging off of it. I would say on a day to day basis, this comes with me in most of my handbags and it's like the most used probably best investment I've ever made in a luxury SLG and I absolutely love it. Next up, I have my two cosmetics cases from Louis Vuitton. I have the cosmetics case in the PM size as well as the GM size, and I love both of these for travel. If I'm going on a longer trip, I will typically take this bag with me to hold um, my makeup, and if I'm going on a shorter trip, I will typically take this bag with me. And this is a great bag also when I'm just going somewhere where I know I'm going to be kind of going out in the evenings and I want to just take a few cosmetics with me and carry more than I would normally just throw into my handbag. This will hold everything and I love that it has just a little slip pocket in the back that's great for things like band-aids or um, any kind of smaller things that you don't want to have to struggle to find inside your bag. Um, this is just a great little pouch for that. And then I also have here the GM size, which like I said, I can fit like at least a week, if not a month's worth of um, makeup in here. And uh, this one has a little pouch here and then it's got a smaller kind of um, compartment there that I typically use for tweezers because I always carry tweezers with me. So um, it's got that on that side. And then on the other side, it has that same little slip pocket, which is like I said, great for band-aids, um, personal items, any kind of thing like that. And then of course the big compartment for makeup. And I love this bag. And in the years when I used to work in an office, um, I often would carry like some of my day-to-day -day essentials in this bag and I would carry this one for just my makeup but um, I love having both of them. They get used one way or another for different um, purposes and they are just great little um, matching pieces that I love having with me when I travel. And last but not least is one of my favorite SLGs from Louis Vuitton and that is my niece BB. And this baby um, has gone through quite a bit of traveling with me. I take it with me pretty much every time we travel across the state to see family and friends on the west coast of Florida. Um, we usually do that in the car and I can take as much as I want, so, so I do. I use this for toiletries and inside I kind of just keep it stuffed at all times with um, some of my, you know, more commonly used or needed toiletry. I love having my Samorga organizer in here because I can just reach in and take out all of my toiletries. And then as you can see, um, it really keeps the inside of this clean. And um, there are two other compartments that I almost never use on the other side there, but this is what the um, case looks like when it's empty. It's just a really beautiful piece. And I got this um, right around the time that it launched. So I remember I want to say, I know I paid under a thousand for it, but I'm not sure exactly what the price was. I want to say it was like 600 and something, maybe 700. And um, I, it's just been so worth it. And I know the price has probably doubled since the time I purchased it, but um, I do think it is such a 
beautifully made quality piece that um, is the closest I'm probably going to ever have to like a Louis Vuitton little trunk. And I just think it's so cute and at the same time so functional. Um, it's definitely one of my best luxury purchases in my collection. So that is everything I have left in my luxury SLG collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing a separate video on all of my other handbags and other SLGs. I think I'm going to try to combine them all together and just do one video um, for anyone who may be interested. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And otherwise, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.